Um, I don't think it shows. Hi, I'm live now. Hey, everybody. It is Michael from Team Epic Reads, and this is the Epic May Book Haul. Um, as you can see, this is still not the Epic Reads. This, this is a fake library. These books, they're not real. This is fake. Um, but I thought it would be a better setting than just a blank wall. Uh, we are on eight weeks in quarantine, and I've been getting a lot of reading done, so that's good. Uh, I hope everybody out there is staying safe and well. Um, I'm gonna give people a little bit of time to join. Let me look at the comments. Hey, everybody, thank you all so much for tuning in. Um, I'm sorry, this isn't as fancy and produced as usual. Thanks, <laughs> thanks friends for tuning in. Hi guys, what is everybody reading? How has your reading been going? I've actually been able to read more than usual in quarantine. Usually I have like one book a month I'm able to talk about with you guys, but I've got a few now. I read um, the upcoming Victoria Schwab, the Schwab novel, The Invisible Life of Addie LaRue. It's out in October. You have to add it to your TBR. Um, I read The Scorpio Races by Maggie C. Fodder, big Maggie C. Fodder fan have to stand. been watching a lot of TV, listening to a lot of music. That reminds me, um, I usually open these videos with a musical clip that I make bookish, and I didn't for uh, last month, and some people were disappointed, and I appreciated that. So I have a one shot at getting this music clip right. Let me say hi to everybody. Hey, everybody. Thanks, everyone I recognize. Um, thanks for watching. Um, we love and thank you for compliments on the background. And some of you have been reading more than usual. Redemption Prep, some of Redemption Prep. Also read that. So twisty, so great. Um, but here is uh, my musical start. Okay. <clears throat> books, like the books. So there you go. You literally asked for it. You can't blame me for that. Um, now, Thank you all for being here. I repeated that so many times. Hey, hi, everybody saying hi. You're all so nice. Um, a couple of people in the comments love the Diviners. I That's been on my TBR for a long time now, but the series was recently completed. The fourth book came out, if my knowledge serves me correct. So I can jump into that and you all can too. Um, okay, so how I start off these videos is with, <laughs> hey, Ebony, um, is with the Epic Reads book club pick for the book of the month. Epic Reads has a book club over on Facebook where there's a theme and this one's theme is the dark side of magic and we have a vote on what book should be the book club pick of the month and you can read any book that fits the theme but the book that won the vote was, drum roll please. I'm so sorry, I just shook the camera. I didn't think that through. This Savage Song by, oh, can we, there we go. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. That is the second Victoria Schwab mention in this video for anyone who is counting. I don't know why I would, but I'm a big fan. Um, and so go over to Facebook to join the book club and read this book along with us. Really fantastic. It's set in a world where um, humans' acts of violence breed monsters. Um, so it's this really dark, really cool, really dangerous world. And it follows a human who's struggling with becoming more monstrous and a monster who's struggling with humanity. Uh, it's the first in a duology, the Monsters of Verity duology, and really fantastic. So with that all out of the way, thank you for the drum roll, Jane. Um, I am going to start talking about the books we have coming out this month. This first one, this first one is a biggie. Uh, a lot of people have been waiting for this book for a long time. And it is, I'm not going to drum roll, I realize that messes up the camera. The Betrothed by Kira Cass. Oh, that, the ring light is doing too much. Um, we have The Betrothed by Kira Cass. This is from the author of the selection, really fantastic, the queen of royal romance. Um, and the selection was just recently revealed to have a Netflix adaptation coming. So Kira Cass fans are being fed this month. Um, and let's try and look at this really stunning cover. Check out the back check out the end pages. Bam. Um, so this follows um, a girl named Hollis who has lived within the castle uh, with other noble families with the intention of courting or getting the intention of the prince. Um, and so King the Jameson decides he wants to be with someone and who he's going to propose to. And he picks Hollis. And she's like, Yes, like this is what I've been working for, sick. Um, but then 
Hollis realizes that this this future with him isn't necessarily the future, the happy ending that she wanted. And then she meets a commoner who sort of opens her eyes and there's a connection there. And she's like, hey, maybe, maybe this future is what will make me happy. Maybe this is a future I didn't see coming. Um, but you can't necessarily say no to the king who picked you out of everyone. And so it's this, again, another magnifique that was French <laughs> royal romance. And I'm gonna let you all um, see this while I look at the comments. Yes, the selection is getting a Netflix adaptation. Okay, oh, someone already finished The Betrothed. This came out yesterday for the record. Every, if you finished it, cheers to you. Um, so yes, another look at the end pages because why not? And then the next book that I have here is from Elizabeth Acevedo, who is a New York Times bestselling author, a National Book Award winning author, um, and also just like a really, really great person. Like every time I meet her, or I'm in her presence. She's just like so bright and kind and nice. Um, yes, the selection is getting an Netflix adaptation. Um, and I, I'm always just blown away. And this is her third book. It is a novel in verse, much like the poet X, and it follows um, Yahaira and Camino. And uh, Camino is going to the airport to pick up her dad who visits her during the summers. And she arrives at the airport to find a plane crash and everybody's crying. And it also follows Yahaira who uh, is called to the principal's office and her mom tells her that her dad died in a plane crash. And through this tragedy and through this loss, these two girls learn of their relation to each other. And it's just a really touching, powerful, beautiful story. Again, a novel in verse from just a really fantastic person and fantastic author. Uh, it's another fantastic cover. Um, and... Under the cover is always fun under her books. And that is the same. I haven't even seen it. Wow, that's really awesome. I haven't seen the back yet. And so that is Happy Man by Elizabeth Acevedo. Um, checking the comments. So pretty. Uh, never read poetry. Yeah, it is a very pretty book. These two books, all of these books are very pretty. I'm looking at the next book I'm about to show you. Um... So the next book I have here is Stay Gold. It's a debut from Toby McSmith. And oh, let me see if I can get the light, the white balance to get fixed. Um, and this is an own voices tale about a transgender boy uh, on his first day at a new school. And he's trying to sort of just cruise through senior year, stay under the radar. And a cheerleader who went through a really bad breakup over the summer and she's got a no dating rule. And on the first day of school, they lock eyes and it's going to be a senior year to remember. It's a story about um, finding finding love, finding yourself, facing the people who don't understand you. Um, and it's really funny and it's really heartfelt and and Pony has to face some bad things, but it's, it's a really heartfelt, powerful story. And I do... Highly recommend. That is Pony and Georgia on the cover. I'm sorry, I cannot fix this white balance in this fake library that I am sitting in. Um, yeah. Ooh. So this is what's under the cover. I'm being sure to show you guys everything so I'm not like speeding through like I did last month. Um, I love the cover too. Uh, bum, bum, bum. Hey, oh, hey, Emma. <laughs> I totally didn't tell you you had to watch this. Okay, so the next novel that I have here is The Fascinators uh, by Andrew Eliopoulos. And Andrew Eliopoulos is also someone who I've like been able to meet. He's a really great person. Um, and so it's really, it's it adds a layer to reading a book when like you know the author and you like the author. It just makes you enjoy the experience so much more. Um, yes, this is a fake library for anyone who is noticing. Again, that's not real. Um, and this follows a, uh, a group of students. They're going into their senior year and they were brought together by their mutual interest in magic. And they created an amateur magic uh, club at their school. And this is a magic infused bewitching tale. Um, and magic brought them together uh, in a town where people aren't really accepting of magic. And in this friend group, 
Sam may or may not be in love with his friend James. James may have gotten involved with some sketchy magickers over the summer and Delia may want more from, she's higher aspirations for herself and her magic than this amateur club that they have. And so this club that brought them together and sort of meant everything to them at one point sort of is fissuring and uh, magic might also be tearing them apart. And a new student wants to join and it's just a really, really touching magical tale that you guys definitely have to check out. And I like love this cover so much. There's an animated video where like the magic is like glowing and it's really, really fantastic. Um, yes, it does have magic. I feel like I said magic so many times. Um, no, the books behind me aren't real. Um, okay. So on to the next book. The next book that I have here is um, Parachutes by <laughs> Kelly Yang, uh, New York Times bestselling author Kelly Yang. I'm so sorry, the the light, the white balance. Oh, that's actually perfect. Does it work if I hold it in front of my really dark <laughs> mock neck? Um, and this, the concept of a parachute, a parachute is a student who uh, moves from a wealthy family in Asia to study in America. And so this follows a parachute named Claire, and the sort of freedom and different environment and everything that comes with moving from, from Asia, from Shanghai to California. And it's just such a different environment from her, but it's also so freeing. And it's, she has experience she's, she's never been able to have before. And then there is Danny, who is not happy about this stranger living in her house. And she's on a very specific path with her life um, and her academics and going to Yale that goes off track a bit in the book and how they, they don't initially want to get along or work with each other, but their paths keep coming together. And it's, it's gossip girl because it's drama and high school. And, but it's also, it's like gossip girl meets speak by Lori Hall Sanderson because there's trauma and there are dark things that happen to these girls. And it's, uh, a powerful, beautiful, emotional tale. And all these covers are just like so fantastic. Um, so let me hold this here and try and see if there are any questions in the comments. Um, I love the parish. Like I said, all of these covers are super beautiful. Um, thank you again to my friend Emma, who I did not pay or force to tune into this in any way. Um, okay. So, on to the next book. Yeah, for the record, like, I had to knock on wood um, that I don't remember, or that I don't forget all of these plots that I had to memorize ahead of time. Because, like, when I'm doing these not live, I mess up so many times. Like, I feel bad for anyone who has to see me or hear me or the editor who has to watch these and cut all of the mistakes. So please, again, cut me some slack if I stumble um, because I had to try and memorize these and that's all I've been doing this these past like 24 hours. Um, thank you for everyone who is complimenting me. Oh, and thank you for complimenting me on the shirt and the fake library. <laughs> so the next book I have here is The Black Flamingo by Dean Ada. And as you can see, this is already a Stonewall Honor ebook because it came out in the UK previously. A uh, really, really beautiful cover. Let me, I believe, yeah, it's got, look what's under it. Oh, can you see? Yeah, flamingos. It's called The Black Flamingo. Um, and so this book follows Michael, who is a, a gay mixed race teen and who has always struggled with feeling like enough for, um, in any of his identities. Um, and then he sort of, finds drag society and in finding drag society, he finds himself. Um, and it's a really, it's a powerful tale about family and self-discovery and identity. And it's a novel in verse and stunning cover, stunning end pages, Stonewall honor ebook. So definitely check this one out. Um, I'm sorry for how close I get when I try to read these comments. I did really bad eyesight. Thank you for everyone again for being so nice. Um, Someone asked, when did it come out? These are all coming out in May. Um, the release dates are just over the course of the month. Uh, I don't know each and every one off the top of my head. I apologize for that. Um, blooper reel? I don't know about that. Someone's talking about a blooper reel for these videos. I think that's something you think you want until you get it and you're just... 
I said blooper reel and then I dropped all the books. That could have been worse. <clears throat> That's live TV for you folks. This isn't TV, this is YouTube. Um, the next book I have here is um, Felix Ever After by Casey Callender. Um, and this follows Felix, Felix Love, who has never been in love. And he realizes the irony in that. Um, Felix is worried that he's just one marginalization too many, being black and trans and queer. And it's sort of his story facing, facing transphobic people who don't understand him and, and finding love and learning to grow in relationships and the most important relationship, the relationship with himself um, and, and just getting the, getting the happiness that he deserves because everyone deserves all the happiness in this world. Um, and it's, let me show you the, like the flowers and everything I really love on this cover. Again, all of these covers, you guys have said, I have said, fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> I just keep saying thank you to everyone every time I read the comments. Thank you. But like genuinely, thank you all for being so nice. Um, and that is Felix Ever After by Case and Calendar. Another stunning cover. Um, do we have any questions or is it just everyone being so nice? It looks like everyone is just being really nice. Uh, keep it up, everybody. I'm just going to put this on the floor with the rest because they all fell down. <clears throat> the next book that I have, how many pages? Okay, I'll answer questions. If anyone has questions, please ask them. I will answer them. I just won't spoil these books for you. That's off limits. Felix Ever After is 354 pages. Question answered. Um, okay. So the next book I have here is The Archer at Dawn by Swati Tirdala. Again, this, this ring light, I'm exposing myself. Um, and this is the sequel to The Tiger at Midnight. It's a South Indian inspired fantasy. Um, and in the first book, uh, we follow... Esha, who is a really, really powerful or really famed rebel. And she, part, being part of the rebellion, she was trying to take down the general. And in the process, met the general's nephew. And there's a bit of an enemies to lovers situation there. Um, and in this book, the sequel, uh, they might be working together, um, but they have to decide what's right and where their loyalties lie. And there's also a tournament happening that they're going to use for their cause. And there's a princess that needs rescuing. It's just like all around an epic fantasy that you guys definitely need to check out. Um, someone asked about the betrothed, which I showed here. Wait, let me just show off this fantastic cover, which I'm trying to cover the light in. <laughs> let me tuck in my other shirt. Um, bam. Again, the sequel to The Tiger at Midnight. Someone asked about The Betrothed. That was the first book that I showed. Uh-oh, after all the books fell on the floor, it might be kind of hard for me to find it in the pile. Here, bam, The Betrothed was mentioned earlier. I will go through, oh God, they're a mess. I'll try to go through everything at the end um, for everybody watching one last time. The Betrothed by Kira Cass. Let me see if there are any I, which of these books am I most excited about? I'm most excited about all the books, in case you cannot tell from, <laughs> from watching the video. Um, but yeah, they're all really exciting, I think. Um, dun, dun, dun. Any other biographies? Uh, none of the books that we have coming out this month are biographies, no. Um, so I will move on. No more questions? Yeah, I'll move on to the next book. And that is... Just a Boy and a Girl in a Little Canoe by Sarah Milwanowski. Oh, how do I fix the white balance? There we go. Um, there's a camp song that is the title of this book, but I'm not going to sing it. I will do a lot for you guys, but I will not sing because you may think you want that until you hear me sing and then you, you're you gonna regret it. Um, but this follows uh, Sam who is a little disappointed because her boyfriend ditched her over the summer to go backpacking through Europe. Um, and she has to work at summer camp. And it's understandable because like summer camp Europe, most people would pick backpacking through Europe, um, but not right now. <laughs> and so she's not happy about the situation in summer camp until she meets one of her, one of her coworkers, Gavin, who is really fun and spontaneous and interesting and together like shows her all of these fun experiences that she can have in this, in a situation she doesn't want to be in. 
And she's like, whoa, what's going on here? Like, I, I like my boyfriend, but he's gone and this person is showing me a really good time and I'm enjoying my summer that I didn't expect on enjoying. And it's a really cute, uh, really cute story, really cute romance. Um, and it's just the sh summer she needed. And while we're all stuck inside, maybe it can be just the summer you all need as well. Um, any new question, please sing. No, you do not want me to hear the song. I promise you do not want me to hear the song. Um, and yes, good call that she is the author of I See London, I See France. Um, I'm not gonna sing. Um, okay. And then the final book that I have to show you guys before going through a final wrap up is from Jordan Taylor and it's The Paper Girl of Paris. And this is an alternate history novel and it follows a girl who's in France because when her grandma died two months previously, she left her in an apartment that she didn't know existed. Um, and through present day, her exploring this apartment, she learns about her family and secrets that have not been shared and things sort of come to light that have needed to come to light. And then um, it's also the story of her grandma who left her this apartment back in the day in France, fighting against and being in the rebellion against the, the Nazis occupying France. Um, and so it's both of their stories and how the stories went together. And it's a really, really powerful, important um, alternate history tale. And here we have the cover, The Paper, Girls, the Paper Girl of Paris by Jordan Taylor. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, so I'm gonna run through the books one final time, but let me see if there are any questions. Which books will make you cry? See, I've told people before that books make them cry, and I think when you tell someone what book you think, a book you think will make them cry, it sort of predisposes them to think they're gonna cry, and then they're less likely to cry. So I'm not gonna tell you that right now, but I will say having read these, I might have shed a tear um, on one or two of them. Nice cover. They're all my favorite. I'm so glad your Amazon card is full. That means I'm doing a good job. I'm going to pat myself on the back. Um, bum, bum, bum. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't look like any major questions. Everyone just being nice. Well, we need chocolates and tissues and ice cream. I think at all times you just need chocolates and tissues and ice cream. That sounds like a great thing to have in quarantine. Um... Sorry, I got a text message from my very helpful friends who are tuning in. Um, okay, so I'm going to show you guys these books one last time. I will go in reverse and try to pick them off the floor because if you weren't watching, they all fell down at one point. The Paper Girl of Paris. Uh, present day, but also alternate history novel. Just a boy and a little girl in a little canoe. Um, cute ro summer romance. I can't go in reverse. They're a mess. I'm just going to show you. Um, the Betrothed by Kira Cass, the author of the selection, Royal Romance. The Archer at Dawn. I'm sorry, this is probably a messy ending. The Archer at Dawn, um, South Indian inspired uh, fantasy sequel. And we have Felix Ever After, Own Voices, uh, coming of age, romance ish, wonderful story. Um, the uh, Epic Reads Book Club, which is upside down. This Savage Song by Victoria Schwab. Uh, ooh, I guess dystopian esque story in a world where uh, violence creates monsters. Uh, not coming of age novel in verse um, from Elizabeth Acevedo, Clap When You Land. Uh, own voices, emotional sad, happy, funny, um, tale, stay gold. The Fascinators, um, uh, a book set in a small town, a little bit of fantasy, a little bit of magic, contemporary. Uh, parachutes, uh, romance, drama, trauma, friendship. I, I went off the rails when I was telling you guys, trying to tell you guys genres right now from Kelly Yang. And um, coming page novel and verse from Dean Ada, The Black Flamingo. Let me see if anyone has any questions. Um, bum, bum, bum. Thank you again for all the kindness. Everyone's shouting out the books they're excited for. That's awesome. Um, 
Okay. Well, thank you all so much for tuning in. Uh, I had a good time doing this. I actually enjoyed doing it live. And I especially enjoyed how nice everybody was. Uh, Be sure to comment, I guess. I don't know if you can comment once I close it or maybe afterwards what books you're most excited for, what you've all been reading um, recently. And I hope you're all staying safe and sane and well in quarantine. Uh, let's all just try our best to make sure we get through this. Um, and books, books are helping. So that was the main book call. Uh, see if any of these questions or comments or I am going to sign off now. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Uh, bye, Epic Readers. I don't know how to end this. I'm just going to click end stream. Um, okay. Bye, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you genuinely so much for watching. End. <laughs>